What's up, Frisco? Oh, come on, y'all can do better than that. Let's hear it for Tony Sparks, ladies and gentlemen. Every time I talk to him, I think he's hitting on me. I love him, though. What's up? I know a lot of you are looking at me confused as shit right now. Are you white? Are you Mexican? Are you whatever the fuck The Rock is? <laughs> Let me clear it up for you. I'm Mexican and Hawaiian. Where are my polys at? Islanders, let me hear you. Thanks to the two that showed up here by accident. Bro, I thought it was a titty bar. Bill. Where are my Latinos at? Y'all came in the same car too, didn't you? Yeah, you did. That's why we can't drive Lyft or Uber. We picked 17 motherfuckers up in one Prius. <laughs> hey, cabron, scoot over. You can make room. Oh, man. So, I've got a lot to talk, I've got a lot to talk about and a little time to talk about it in. First thing I'm gonna talk about is Donald Trump. Oh, no. Yeah, no, but I'm not voting for him. Don't boo me, shit. I don't know what the fuck Donald Trump's problem is. He's, for somebody so against illegal immigration, he sure does employ a lot of us, doesn't he? I've been to Trump hotels, it's always Yolanda and Maria working housekeeping. And Jesus, Juan, and Luis, they're maintenance. Oh, man. I, I don't, I don't remember, his plans don't make sense to me. We're gonna, we're gonna kick all the Mexicans out and we're gonna build a wall to keep them out. Really? Does anybody else see the problem with that equation? Go ahead, think about it. Come on, white people. Y'all hire us to build three foot retaining walls for your gardens. You think you're gonna build a 20 foot wall that encompasses the entire border without us? No, not happening, sorry. My, my idea for illegal immigration have us build the wall first, then kick us out. <laughs> It'll be easy to do. All you gotta do is just fucking, when the inspector comes, oh, side on Mexico, movie fantastico, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go check the other side. Close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door, close it, close it! <laughs> Illegal immigration solved. As you can probably tell, I'm a nerd. I got the Yoda shirt on. <laughs> Where my Star Wars fans at? Woo! Speaking of nerdy shit, Japan has launched the largest offensive on American soil since Pearl Harbor. Uh, it's called Pokemon Go. <laughs> Does anybody play this game? Woo! Team Mystic, where you at? Woo! Right here! <laughs> yeah, no, I play Pokemon. I do. Um, I didn't realize how much of a lazy shit I was until the game came out. I mean, I knew I was lazy, I just didn't realize how lazy I was. Because when the game came out, the first thing I did was go to YouTube to look for a hack to make those fuckers come to me. I didn't want to walk around my city like a dumbass. No. I wanted to sit at home on my couch naked eating haagen -Dazs. Picture that, mama. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Face ain't the only thing that's pretty. <laughs> I love Hagen dazs ice cream. Hagen dazs ice cream is my favorite, though. The only thing I don't like about it, there's two things I don't like about Hagen dazs ice cream. One, it comes in pints. Don't fucking stifle me. If I want a gallon of fucking ice cream, you give me a gallon of fucking ice cream, Hagen dazs Don't be dicks. Second, they have the replaceable lids. Does anybody use that shit? Honestly, if you, if, honestly, if you use a replaceable lid on a haagen pint, you're probably much healthier than I am. And fuck you for that. I hate you. I don't know. Back to Pokemon, though. Like I said, I, I play the game, and it's actually been, it's actually been really cool for me because it's, it's helped my social life a lot. It's helped my sex life greatly. Because now I just use Pokemon terms to pick up women. And I'll go up to a girl and be like, Hey, baby, let me get a Pikachu. Yeah. Damn, girl, your jiggly puffs are making my Metapod hard now. I want to take you home, attack your cloister with my Lickitung, finish you off with my Gyarados. 
evolve my grimer and muck all over. <laughs> it works. Fellas, I'm telling you, Pokemon, try it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what else am I gonna talk about here tonight? Um, so I'm a father, I have three kids, uh, 15, 14, and nine. Two boys and a girl. Girl's the middle child. And she's lost her fucking mind. She's 14 years old. She's a freshman in high school. This past Christmas, she comes up to me. She goes, Dad, um, can you buy me a, a purse for Christmas? I'm like, I'm still thinking she's my innocent baby, right? So I'm thinking she wants some Hello Kitty purse. It's like 20 or $30. This crazy bitch has the nerve to pull up the Dolce & Gabbana website. And shows me a bag, not even a bag, it's a square that says D and G. This shit was thirteen hundred dollars. I looked at her, I said, Honey, Daddy just got food stamps. I can't afford Hagen does. You think I can afford fucking Dolce and Gabbana? You're out of your fucking mind. Go sit in your room. Think about that. My name's Ryan Rodriguez. Woo!